Hello, welcome to Ovis. I'm here to give you a tour of how to use Ovis Space to solve your problems. Whether you want to use it for remote work, virtual events, community gatherings, or whatever purpose you have in mind. In this video, we'll show you how to move and speak, the functions we have and how to use them, and the conference rooms. Let's see how things run when we enter. As we can see, there is an avatar with the name Maya indicating that I'm inside the space. To move, I just click anywhere and I'll be automatically there. If I click and hold, a circle will appear. It shows the transmission range of my voice to other people. As an example, I have a dummy user with me. We're far away from each other, which means our voices won't be heard. But if I approach them, our circles become intersected and now we can hear each other. You can also notice the red arrows attached to our avatars. If I click the other user's avatar, my arrow will face them and that will enhance the audio quality of my voice. Now, as I slightly move away from them, my voice will get gradually lower until it disappears completely when our circles are no longer intersected. At Ovis, you can use the megaphone to broadcast for the entire space, regardless of the voice range. You can also choose to either mute or unmute your microphone and control its settings through the white arrow next to it. This coffee cup icon is made to set yourself away without having to leave the space. Let's say you receive a phone call. Setting yourself away will let others know that you're not available for talking, but will still come back later on. As the dummy users set themselves away, they can add a comment so others know what they're doing. Now that they are away, I can see them down in here and check their comment too. The last icon we have is the leave icon. It will take us outside of the space and back to the lobby. At Ovis, you can also communicate through chat. Use the chat bubble to send messages to anybody. You can also private message people by tagging their name and they'll be the only one seeing your message. What makes Ovis a collaborative environment are its features. If you double click or right click a space near your avatar, a list of functions will appear. Let's go through them one by one. I'm gonna share my screen by clicking the TV icon. Choose a window or a tab and click Share. It will appear like this. This works well for presentations, meetings, or for others to be able to see your real-time activity. Now, I'm sharing my camera. We'll enable it by clicking the video camera icon. So both of my audio and my video are being delivered to the other person. I can also control the settings of my camera by clicking the white arrow next to it. But keep in mind, the camera works only for the object owner, so the other participant won't be able to show their video with you. This comes in handy if you are an event facilitator and want the spotlight to be on you. However, the meeting camera I'm using now is for both parties to show their video and share their audio with together, just like me and my guests are doing here. Use the speaker if you're talking to a large group of people and you want your voice to be transmitted just as loudly as it is from a farther distance. But keep in mind that the distance will be limited because if you drag your avatar away, the speaker might disappear, just like I'm doing now. Now I'm going to share my favorite YouTube video by pasting the link in the URL bar and click play. And there we have it. The last function we have is the editor. This is made for brainstormings or just jotting down some notes. However, other people won't be able to edit and share the content. Only the person who opens the editor will have that priority. At any office, there are conference rooms. It's the same at Ovis. Let's go inside one. Inside, I can share my video, my audio, and my screen too. I can also control the view. I can even lock the room to prevent other people from coming inside and interrupting my private meeting. 
I can also use the chat bubble just like outside of the room. To leave, I just click on the leave icon and I'm outside. What to do with Ovis is up to you. Have any feedback, questions, or just even want to say hi? Don't hesitate to reach out to us at ovis.in. Stay safe!